holidays and parties just seem to go hand in hand. It is the season to celebrate, and I'll bet there'll be times when you'll be asked to bring some kind of an appetizer to a gathering of friends or family. And, you know, I like to use just my favorite cheese balls, all my favorite spreads, use them during the holiday, holiday time, but just fancy them up a little bit. And one way I do that is rather than shaping them into a ball, like a big cheese ball, I make some little pastries and then I put a little dab of the cheese ball onto each pastry. The pastries are so beautiful and they're so easy to make because you start with a sheet of puff pastry that you buy in the freezer case at the grocery store. Now to start with, I need to have two baking sheets that are exactly the same size and two pieces of parchment paper cut to fit the baking sheets. So I've got those ready to go. The oven is preheated to 425 degrees. And now I'm just going to roll my pastry just a little bit so that I hide the little fold marks because this dough was folded into thirds in the box. And this is just half of the box. You actually get two pieces of pastry dough in each box. One of these sheets will make 35 little pastry crisps. So I've got a one and a half inch round cookie cutter and I'm just going to cut rounds and I'll get probably what I said 35 out of this puff pastry. Now typically when you bake puff pastry it does what it's called, it puffs and so you can actually see the layers after it's baked. Now what I like to do is bake them so that they look a little bit more like crackers, crispy but they still have those flaky layers, they're just compressed a little bit. So what I'll do is put my cut out rounds on my parchment paper on one baking sheet and then brush each one lightly with a little bit of beaten egg. Then after I've filled my baking sheet, I'll put that other piece of parchment paper right over my rounds, put the other baking sheet right on top of it and that will weigh it down while it's baking in the oven. When they come out, they'll look like this. They're nice and crunchy. They're a perfect size to pop into your mouth and just put a dab of your favorite cheese spread. You know that cranberry sauce I made last week on the segment? I mixed that with an eight ounce chuck of cream cheese and I piped it on to these little crisps. It's beautiful with a little pistachio nut stuck into the top. Festive looking and beautiful and so easy. No sweat, no stress for the holidays. I hope you'll give them a try. I'm Sue Doden and I'm all about food.